Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome back to some more Amateur Hour in Kerbal Space Program with Fraggle. And this episode, I'm going to debut a sneaky little plan. At least I'm going to test it out. Uh, let's see here. This is my Mark I Science Bomber. <laughs> Ah, right. what we got here is very basic aircraft. Two engines and wings. Some uh, panic chutes. Um, <laughs> in case things get too out of hand. And then, on the underside... Three bomb bays. Inside of which... Oops. Uh, these guys. Well, there's only one because I'm still testing. I thought I would share this with you. I want to change the altitude of this down to about 250. Because I need this thing to hit the ground whilst I'm still in range. Otherwise, um, it kind of vanishes. At least, I think. I can't remember how uh, probes and things work at the moment, to be quite honest. Um... So we're going to take this out for a quick test and see how this plays out. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. Let's go. So we have it. There's a little aircraft. I'm going to turn on SAS. Get going. So I'm just going to take off and head over here and drop this uh, science package off. And it's a very basic package. It's uh, it's a, the little mini science junior kit and a thermometer. Now this thing doesn't actually fly quite as well as it looks. <laughs> I'm just kind of practiced in flying this thing. It's it's a bit of a dog to be honest, but you can probably tell just by looking at its shape. It's dead flat. There's no dihedral or anything. So we're just going to fly out over here. All right, so we're getting there. So I'm going to crank the uh, throttle almost down. I'm going to aim to get my little probe in here. Whoa, that was actually the wrong button. Level out. So now I'm going to open the doors. I've got to open all three. Pretty much over my target zone, I think, almost. So I'm going to nose her over. Ejector. Bring her up. Close the doors. Bring the throttle up. Now I'm going to keep an eye on her. See, I think I have to wait for it to land before I get too far away. Otherwise it just disappears. I can't remember what the distance is. I think it's like five kilometers or something. So you can see, still see the parachute is up. So it's still going down. So am I. 
Grief, that thing's taking a long time to go down. I set the parachute to 200 meters, so it should uh, it should almost have touched down by now. I mean, unless unless this is a kraken strike. Uh oh. go, it's down. Okay, so now I'm going to move on. So 25 kilometers away, it's still rendering. That's good. Okay, so let's let's bring around. It's still there. I think the landing strip might be a bit ambitious. We might have to do a turn. Running out of room. Oh dear. Well, wasn't that terrible. <laughs> we most of the aircraft survived, but that's not why we're here. Ah, there it is. Okay, so that's still there. Bingo. And there we have it. My little science probe successfully touched down. I can log the temperature. I can open the doors, observe the materials. And if I had other science package materials, I could stick them on here. And now, what I should be able to do... Aha! There we are, there's the probe. There's that guy there, so what I can, should be able to do is recover him, 
and get a little bit of science. Recover him and get no science. <laughs> but, as proof of concept goes, that's not terrible. Okay, the landing was kind of shitty. But if I had three of those probes, I could technically run out and drop uh, one in, uh, you know, I could do three biomes in one go. Um, obviously, I don't think I would do that with the uh, science package, the, the materials bay. I would prefer to do that with um, with some, some more scientific gear on board. But I think as a proof of concept, that works pretty good. Need some refining though. Um, but let's have a look at mission control. See, here's a here's a handy thing I can do. I can slap the seismic and magnetic field readers on those uh, pods and drop them at these sites and do this entire thing in one shot. Um, and I got this guy here, but these have to be over a specific altitude. But that's where my other aircraft comes in handy. And we'll demonstrate that later. But I think for the FTP, ah, whilst orbiting Kerbin, hmm, we may have to look at that one. And there's the Minmus one. I don't think I'm gonna. Well. I'm not going to decline it. We'll, we'll check that one out later. But I think for the moment I'm going to call that it. Thanks for watching. And uh, what should we do next? We've got to do something fun next. I'll think on that and we'll come back. So for the moment, I will see you anon.